I'm joined by Rory McDonald, who takes on Robbie Lawler at the MGM Grand this Saturday, July 11th, in the co-main event at UFC 189. This is a rematch for you. Mm -hmm. You fought Robbie at UFC 167. That did not go your way. What do you take away when you look back at that performance? I think my focus was off, and you know, I think I readjusted that. I've come a long way with my skill set, and you know, I'm working very hard, and I'm, I'm feeling much better. And, I'm very confident that I'll walk away with a dominant victory. You've talked a lot about that your focus wasn't right or mentally you didn't have the right approach to the fight. What do you feel like was wrong for you? I just wasn't into it at that point. Like, have you ever showed up to work and really not <laughs> <laughs> wanted to be there? I think we can all relate to that and just being distracted with other things in life. How did you then get yourself back on the right mental track? Well, getting my ass kicked out. You know, I don't know. Just the, the loss re-motivated me and it... Uh, you know, it reminded me why I do this, you know, and, and what I'm trying to achieve. And uh, what I was doing, preparing for that fight, was clearly not the recipe to get where I wanted to be. Now that you feel like your mental focus is where it needs to be for this fight, when you and your trainer, who's just off camera, for Al Zahabi, look at your footage from that fight with Robbie, where do you feel like we'll be able to see the biggest improvements? I think everywhere. Striking, wrestling, and jujitsu. I really feel like I've, I've I've come so far, you know, it's night and day from a year and a half ago. We've developed such uh, a lot of new techniques, you know, and, you know, just strengthened the base and added new techniques. So I'm more versatile, more dangerous, more tools. We did a Q&A in Montreal, and joining us on stage was George St. Pierre, former welterweight champion, who also trains at TriStar. On stage, he said that he was going to help you prepare for this bout. Was he able to be there for you as a training partner? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he helped me a lot. He really took the time out of his schedule to come and make sure that I was prepared and, you know, sharing his knowledge with me. And you can't ask for any better than that. He's still, you know, being off for a year and a half or so, he's still right at the top. You know, he's very skilled and it was, uh, it was nice to have him around. Are you feeling confident because you are on a win streak as well? Yeah, of course. I had three great fights. That gave me nothing but confidence. It was my best year of fighting, and I'm happy about fighting. I, I'm just uh, really in the zone right now. Do you feel any pressure trying to bring that welterweight strap back to Canada? No, I don't. Uh, I don't really put too much pressure on myself for, you know, national pride or anything like that. It's nice. It's nice as a bonus at the end. How much pressure do you put on yourself? You've been doing this for so long, since you were in your early teens. And obviously the goal has always been a UFC belt. I'm just going with the flow and enjoying the moment. You know, I just want to perform my best and, you know, I want to uh, achieve greatness. You know, I want, to, I want to be the best in the world. And if that's Saturday night, then so be it. And what, and you just said something that I, I find very interesting. You say you want to enjoy the moment. Has that always been part of your mindset or is that something you've learned as you've gotten older and become a veteran in the sport? Yeah, definitely is as I got older. Over time, you learn that those 15 or 25 minutes that you're in there, is, it's an honor, you know, and it's a blessing to be able to do what you love. I want to look back at the end of my career and, you know, remember that I was happy in those moments. Why do you feel like on Saturday night you'll get your hand raised and you will become the UFC welterweight champion? I believe um, I'll outskill Robbie. Um, I believe I'm more hungry, um, and that's just going to be the difference. Where do you feel like you win it? Everywhere. Striking, wrestling, or jiu-jitsu, I'm prepared for everything. Looking forward to it. The co-main event for UFC 189. Rory, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.